Chris, it was lovely to meet hey, you. Hey, it's been, abs been an absolute you. pleasure. You can think about the third date that we're going to have. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Go on, I'll take your phone number. Let, 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 let's, not me let's not mess about. I woke up this morning and I had an impulse to walk out and find a beautiful girl to go on a date with. And I saw you, I was like, I'm going to take my opportunity. So I just got back from Warsaw. Nice right. place. We can go there on our second date. Yeah. If you play your cards right, yeah. who knows, third date, I don't know. Could go to a... Yeah. Uh, World's our oyster. What's that? The world is our oyster. The world is our oyster. That can be third date. We can go out and eat oysters. All right, so you want to be able to go over to any girl and get her number because you don't want to be a little simp who's dependent on dating apps for the rest of his life. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to actually do this so you can ditch the dating apps and finally feel in control of your dating life. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Right. You speak English? Yes. Are you English? Yes. Well, half Turkish, but English, yeah. Half what? Turkish? Yeah. Which part of Turkey? Cyprus. Cyprus. Amazing. Why? I just wanted to say that you look lovely. Thank it's you. It's all right past me. I was like, I just, I just got a lot of a lot of love to give today. I've had, a, I've had a very good day. I appreciate that. So I was, I was like, there's a beautiful lady that I want to go and express my undying love to. <laughs> and it turns out you're from Cyprus as well. Thanks. I'm 0% Cypriot, so oh. it's meant to be, right? Yeah, yeah, it's so much in common. I like to, <laughs> I've been to Cyprus once. Oh, right. I went to. South or north? Uh, I went to Paphos. Okay, I went to the Greek side. The Greek side. That's your side, though, right? No, I'm the Turkish side. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at conversations. <laughs> What's your name? Christian, yeah, nice, to, nice to meet you. Do you live here in Chelsea or uh, what? I will do. My mum works here. So oh wait, when is your wait? Is your mum gonna jump out of no, the bushes? She's really, that she's just gone. I'm leaving now. Oh, so you had a day with your mum. Yeah. Now you left your mum's company, yes. and now you've been approached by me yes. to say you look lovely. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Cypriot in the slightest. Well, but... have you got anything special about you? Oh, good question. Very good question. Anything special about I me? Think, like nationality, background-wise, not to like. Hidden talent, sort of thing. Well, I've, I've got hidden talents. You do? But I've got probably the most bizarre hidden talents uh, you can imagine. But I will tell you the interesting thing first. Yeah. My name's Christian, but it's Christian with a K. Oh. I know, right? Mic drop. You weren't expecting that when you came out of bed this morning, were you? No, I wasn't expecting any of this when I came out of bed this morning. Well, to be honest, <laughs> neither was I. This is just like, I'm just kind of inside. I'm like, you know, the duck, which is like. Okay, yeah. But, I'm, I feel like I'm keeping it together pretty well. Okay. Like, I would have regretted it if I didn't come over here. Well, would you like my number? Well, yeah, I'm going to get to that bit. Okay. I, I, you, well, know, I, you might still think that I'm a... Hey, I don't have places to be. Oh, right. I thought you were going to be like this high-end woman who's like world domination. <laughs> Nearly. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Um, I'm a uni student at the minute. Graduated? I'm doing my placement year here. Just third year. Placement year? Yeah. Oh, so that like the practical work experience? Yeah. Where's that? Zara? Huh? Is it in Zara? <laughs> <laughs> Good use of your degree yeah, there. Well, what's your degree? Marketing. Uh, classic. How old are you? How old me? Mm. Me? Mm. How old do you think? I would guess. If you get it right, I might buy you a drink. 22. 22? 23? Mm. Are you older? Way older. Are you? Way older. 27? 26. You're 26? Yeah. I've aged well, right? Age. Your brother's age. <laughs> He's not called Christian, is he? I'll take that, yeah. <laughs> I'm 20. 20? Yeah, and you'll turn 21 next September. age. September what? 22nd. Oh, we got so much in common. <laughs> what, I went to your 12th of January. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'll take your phone number. Let, 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 let's, not me let's not mess about. <laughs> yeah, do you know it? It's not a Turkish number, is it? No. You can ring it and I'll prove it's mine. Oh, it's not, no fake number here? Oh, wow. Hey, I was actually expecting it to be like a fake number. No. And then I was gonna go. I was gonna go home and like cry into my heart-shaped pillow. Anyway, I, I was gonna do that. That's genuinely where I'm going now. Go, I'm gonna go into my abode. I'm just gonna cry. Do you it, live it, here? Uh, temporarily, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I run. Um, I run an international coaching company. So I travel around the world. And I work with high-achieving, busy city workers, and I help them improve their social skills. So they can excel in the areas of life that matter to them the so most. That's how you approach random strangers on the street. Exactly, because my so I was a magician for ten years. That's a hidden quirky talent. I know, right? <laughs> hey, what can I say? Can't wait for the third date. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and yeah, I transferred my um, hyper effective social skills mm. and monetized it by working with wealthy individuals. 
So, mad world, right? Office, it was lovely to meet hey, it's you. Been an abs it's been an absolute you. pleasure. You can think about the third date that we're going to have. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Well, I'm only, well, I'm here, I'm here for this weekend. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to Bulgaria and I'll yeah. be back in July. Right. So we can hatch a plan well, when I'll I come back. I'll be moving in July. Moving here? Permanently. To here? Not for a year. Not here. Where? North. Well, we can make it. We can make it work. There's well, we can. Tubes. There are lots of tubes. TFL does help. We've got private jets as well. Yeah, hey, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? So yeah, that's fine. Well, we, we, we can play. We can play the. We can play the long game for a little while. I'll send you. I'll send you pictures from Sophia. Oh my god. Have a good one. So the most important thing to keep in mind when you approach a girl is when you approach, you have to make sure that that girl has actually stopped and is actually looking at you before you say anything else. This is the biggest mistake that I see guys make. Like when they finally pluck up the courage to approach a girl, they'll go over, but the girl who they're speaking with hasn't stopped. She's not really looking at them. And then they'll try and say something to try and get her to stay, but she just keeps walking and the guy feels like an unlovable piece of shit. <laughs> like, bro, I've been there, all right? Excuse me, darling. Hiya. Do you speak English? Oh, yeah, I'm late. Oh, yeah, okay. Excuse me ladies, hiya, this is really random, but I just wanted to say that you both looked really good. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Oh well listen, have a great day anyway, alright. Excuse me darling, Oh yeah. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just want to tell you that you look really good, you look like you're disappearing. Excuse me, hiya. Oh, I just wanted to tell you that you look good. Excuse me ladies, hiya. I'm not trying to sell you anything. You look very surprised. You're like, what's going on here? I I just wanted to tell you that you both look really good. You in uh in do you speak English? No. Do you speak English though? No. You don't speak any English at all? Not at all. Like not even like well rehearsed in the English language. Oh wow, well you have a good day, yeah? So let's say you see a girl who's walking, all right? You're gonna go over to her and as you're about parallel to her shoulder, you're gonna say, excuse me. You're gonna wait for her to stop. You're gonna make sure that she's actually looking at you. And then you can either say, hi, do you speak English? Amazing. I just wanted to say that you look really lovely what are you doing today? And as I'm saying the words, all right, I'm positioning myself in front to convey my conviction. Excuse me, excuse me, all right, do you speak English? Yes. Are you English? Yes, well, half Turkish, but English, yeah. Half what, Turkish? Yes. Which part of Turkey? Cyprus. Cyprus. Amazing. Why? I just wanted to say that you look lovely. Thank it's you. It's all right past me. I was like, I just, I just got a lot of, a lot of love to give today. Because if you're just stood to the side of her, right, the message it conveys is, I'm unsure of myself. I'm not fully committed to this approach and she's most likely just gonna keep walking. Now, if you don't wanna ask, do you speak English? Then an alternative thing you can say is, hi, um, this is really random, but I just wanted to say that you look lovely. What are you doing today? And as I'm saying this, I've got a smile on my face, all right? Like when you go into that approach, make sure that you actually have a smile on your face because it will put not only the girl at ease, but it'll put you at ease as well, right? When you have a smile on your face, it will help to reduce the anxiety. Because once you've gone over and you've actually got her to stop and she's actually looking at you and as well, if her feet are pointing towards you, because a person's feet will always point in the direction that they want to travel, right? If you've managed to pull all of this off, then bro, congratulations. Like you've just done the hardest part, okay? Now all you need to do is carry a simple conversation. Yeah, but Christian, I have no idea what to actually say. All right, so I'm gonna give you a ready-made conversation topic that you can bring into any conversation with any girl who you approach. Yeah, I would have regretted it if I didn't come over here and say hello. I don't know about you, but I really hate online dating and I just feel as though face-to-face -face interaction is far more fun. Because I feel like people don't really meet in person that much anymore, but I prefer to meet people in real life because then you can actually get a feel for what that person's like. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, so what do you think about online dating? Like literally, bro, take a screenshot, memorize it, and then actually go out and put it into practice. And to actually put this into practice, what I want you to do is set yourself the challenge this coming weekend to go out and approach one girl implementing exactly what I've just taught you. One girl, one approach, that's it, all right? If you've never done this before and just the thought of going over to a pretty girl and expostulating your desire for her fills you with fear, then do this exercise. One girl, one approach, this coming weekend. And bro, if you're able to do that, then that is a massive win. And you've already set yourself apart from 99% of guys who would never have the balls to actually do it. But yeah, the reason that I like this conversational topic so much is it puts the idea of a date into her mind, all right? The fact that the two of you have been talking about dating, your preferred way of meeting people for the past two or three minutes, it makes the clothes feel a lot more natural, right? You've planted that seed into her mind. She's probably thinking now about going on a date with you. So when you go for the number, which is what you're gonna do, it'll feel like a natural conclusion to the conversation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but Christian, I've done all that, but now how do I actually get her phone number? By the way, I've just subscribed to you because I wanna see more videos. So after you've had your little two to three minute conversation, you've been talking about dating, you're probably gonna feel your mind starting to go blank, which is completely normal. It's time to actually go for the number. And you're gonna use the Casanovian clothes to actually do this, all right? So all you're gonna say is, well, listen, um, the reason that I'm speaking to you is because I think you're attractive. So feel free to say no, but I'd actually really like to take you out on a date. So I'll tell you what, drop me a number. I will send you one message and you can do whatever you want with that message. And just listen to the way that I'm conveying the clothes, all right? It's not this, please, please, please give me your number. No, it's this chilled, carefree, non-needy, take it or leave it, I want you, but I don't need you type of energy, right? Like, drop me your number, I'll send you one message, and then you can do whatever you want with that. Now, just this part of the video alone is enough to get you consistent dates with girls who you're meeting during the day. But we ain't stopping there, all right? Because I wanna share with you now my favorite way of actually approaching girls. So this is, this is the way that I actually approach girls these days. And bro, this is gonna be an absolute game changer. So I call this transparent approaching, all right? And all this means is you go over to a girl and you immediately tell her why you've approached and what you want. Excuse me, hi. Do you live in London? No. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, where do you live? Guernsey. Guernsey? Oh, yeah. that's quite niche. Uh, I had a very peculiar request for you, but I don't think it's going to work out for the no. two of us. I've, um, I'm in London for a week, okay. so I travel to different parts of the world. Uh, I was looking for a beautiful girl to take out on a date this week. Oh, but I literally leave at five. Five today? Yeah. What are you doing right now? Well, I need to go pick up my bag and go to the we train could have gone out for We could have gone out for dinner. We could have. But when do you leave? Uh, the 29th. Wednesday. Uh, like next Monday. I'm back next weekend. You, what, the weekend coming? Yeah. The weekend coming, yeah? Next Friday, I'll be back. All right, great. Well, we can do it then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was like, <laughs> you're, 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 you're being silly about it. You're like, oh, I'm from Guernsey. I do, like, I'm, I'm never going to. No, I come back this weekend. So, what do you actually do for a living? Uh, health and safety, I work in. So, why are you in London? Are you making like people safe? No, I just came to see some friends. Oh, I see. Do you want to put your number in? Yeah. You What's your name? Uh, have a guess. If you get it right, I may well select you as a lucky girl who gets to come out on a date with me. Harry? Harry? Yeah. Like, like the, the Prince Harry? Yeah. Like I could take that. It's not Harry. No. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm from a place called the Lake District. Oh, okay, nice. Um, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, very nice. Um, what was the question? What's your name? Oh, Christian. Christian? Yeah, it's Christian with a K. Yeah, uh, but I'm from the Lake District originally, but now I don't have a permanent address. Sorry, like so, a nomad? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, so I just got back from Warsaw. 
nice place. We can go there on our second date. Yeah. If you play your cards right, yeah. then who knows, third date, I don't know, could go to a... Yeah. world's our oyster. What's that? The world is our oyster. The world is our oyster. That can be third date. We can go out and eat oysters. The vegetarian, but... Oh, you're one of those girls. <laughs> Sorry. They realise it's high maintenance. So at least, yeah. you're not, at least you're not a vegan. No, exactly. My friend's a vegan. He's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, my best friend's a vegan and it is. Every time he comes around for dinner, I'm like... You cook. <laughs> hey, we can set them up together. Okay. My friend's also a male, though. Oh. Yeah. Is he gay? No. We well, I've never asked him, actually. No, we can set them up and see. Let's do it. We can do a double date. Yeah. And this has been transpired just because I woke up this morning and I had an impulse to walk out and find a beautiful girl to go on a date with. And I saw you. I was like, I'm going to take my opportunity. Oh, cute. Because I'm not, right? Well, now you've got my number. Hey, so I do. I'm going to tre treasure this number. You should. You better not flake on me. I I'm going to I'm going to be Friday. I'm going to be pining over you. I'm going to be like, "Oh, please <laughs> come out on a date. I'm needy. I'm lonely." Do you don't have any friends in London. I don't have any friends in general. Oh. I'm actually homeless. The reason I came over to you, I was going to look for some change. And I thought I'd change the story just because, nice. you know, I thought you were attractive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got friends, but they're all vegans. Oh, so it's pain yeah. in the ass, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'll let you go back to Guernsey. Yeah. My flight's at 5. I'm going to get my suitcase and get to the airport. Right, well enjoy yourself. It was yeah. lovely meeting you. So these days, after doing this for two and a half years, I'm transforming not only my dating life, but the dating lives of countless men across the world. I've gotten, I'd say, $100,000 worth of value. If I was a millionaire, I would easily pay $100,000 for this experience. He's changed my entire life completely and I've known him for a week. I've discovered that you can go over to a girl and strip back all the bullshit, eliminate all of that pickup conditioning that a lot of you boys have, like you'll go in there and you'll be in your head thinking, oh, I need to vibe, I need to stack, oh, has she hooked yet? And simply go in to your approaches with full transparency. So these days, when I see that girl who I really like, I will go over to her, I'll be like, yo, excuse me, hi, do you speak English? Amazing. Um, Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I woke up today and I said to myself, I really wanna take a beautiful girl out on a date. So I was just walking over there, I saw you and you are 100% my type. So I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna come over here and invite you out on a date. Have you um, got an English phone number that I can take? And even if you don't get this girl's number, all right? You are gonna feel like the fucking guy after that approach, right? You've gone in there with full conviction, you've left nothing on the table, you've played to win rather than play not to lose. She's gonna respect the balls that it actually took to go over and declare your desire in a non-needy way without concealing your intentions. Like, excuse me, where's Starbucks at? It's like, fuck all that shit. You've gone over, but listen, you are 100% my type. I really wanted to find a beautiful girl that I can take out on a date. You're the one. It's like, it makes her feel special as well. Do you know what I mean? Cause it's like, I don't just want someone, I want you. Listen, if you've watched this and you like the idea of transparent approaching and you would like a full in-depth breakdown of transparent approaching, then watch this video that I made in Chelsea, which breaks down the three key components of the perfect transparent approach. Stay fucking sexy. You stay sexy, okay?